baby just do stupid shit. Paul kids Lexus just in front of the curb. I mean, not even in the intersection. The Lexus, the big body, the, the, the 450, when it first came out, the Lexus Land Cruiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He had, he was on spinners, and he just parked it in the middle of the intersection where Rhythm City was. Yeah. yeah. And just got, got out, out the whip. Rewind and tell everybody what y'all talking about. Yeah, so we talking, uh, in, in preparation for the go off, we having a minute go off about how Baby is, is my role model and how. <laughs> Watching the whole cash money thing unfold and kind of you know how it blew up right. over the last twenty years, like twenty five years, yeah. it it was more palpable to us earlier on because they were really the you know we still the same you know same age kind of running yeah. around the city during that and time and the shit that they was talking about in the songs like yeah. we saw them do that shit yeah. in real life though and just thinking about how baby used to go off. Son, they don't give you the name number one stunner first. Number one. It's, it's not. It's not by happenstance. It's a level of creativity that's unmatched. It's not by happenstance. All right. <laughs> Son, you 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 bring a helicopter to. Son. You bring a helicopter to a concert in the Superdome, and just come out that bitch tossing money. That's so how we, that's how we that's how we played it. Son. Drew called me, and we was at Howard. <laughs> My pa cop the PT Cruiser. Right. Black, he thought he was hit. Like when it first came out. Like he out here. Right? Drew said him and my poor driving home one day. Baby got the rainbow PT cruisers. And you know how he had his house on that little. Yeah, man. Yeah. He just you, you gotta in. pass it. You gotta yeah, pass yeah. it. You, you gotta, gotta pass, pass it. it. And he got the rainbow. Just stuck. Cause I can. Cause he can. Cause I can't. Bayou Classic, he had the stretch of him. He threw a t-shirt at the policeman. They tried to clear the, the street. He threw a cash money t-shirt at the police. Yeah. So he put he put Will out the house <laughs> at the party. I thought he like, who you here with, cousin? <laughs> <laughs> he bought the ball. That uh, uh, started a whole different chapter. Oh, right no. There. Baby, they bought the ball. Like for real, I don't yeah. think I don't think I really heard that become the shit until nobody did that until until nobody baby, did that baby. nobody did that. That's right, son. That's right. So number one stunner, bro. Um, baby, that's our top. Bubba B. Um, and we're gonna ground it in, you know, our our experience, whatever. But um, economic. Policy in this country, um, that so-called uh, American dream, yeah. uh, watching the political landscape evolve or devolve into a, a place where I don't even think we really have in, I don't think we ever had like, conversations on substantive issues, like being debated by different politicians or officials. But this is just it's chaos. It's all left, right, lived it. And it's, I want to ground it in, uh, you know, just, just equality. We talked about last week, capitalism versus socialism <clears throat> for the stupids, not communism. Um, but it seems like Maybe the loudest voices we hear are right. the voices who guide policy in this com country really have people thinking they about to be baby. Right. Like, one, I mean, there's other one, baby. But that kind of that kind of wealth accumulation, you know, the haves and the have-nots, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, by and large... Most people won't get there. Just right. I mean, there's a top one percent, a top ten percent. Right. I mean, numbers are numbers. And right? They control the majority of the wealth that's yeah. in the country. Right? And even right. if you do get there, you weren't there for most of your life. Right. You know, unless you're born into it, like a top one percent or one percent. I right. don't want to run it, but it seems like when we 
are considering national policy, especially state policy. You know, we're talking about the economics of, of mm -hmm. voting on certain initiatives or bills. Everybody is talking to baby. Like when you hear about Joe Biden tax plan or the infrastructure bill, um, issues, even in Louisiana, the wet coastal restoration, uh -huh. people, all they have to say is, oh, we're going to raise taxes. Right. Oh, you know, we raise taxes over a certain income level. Oh, what about a wealth tax? What about inheritance, the death tax, the estate tax? Uh -huh. You don't buy, you're not about to pay that. Yeah, Who I, are you? Why are you mad about that? <clears throat> the people who would, who this matter to, have nothing to do with you. They just getting you riled up about foolishness. So a lot of a lot of political voices. They have they have no meaningful contributions to the conversations, so their only presence is to be the voice of opposition. Right, that's the only way that they can, they can create some type of foothold that gains some relevance for them that they can launch or sustain their political careers. So you know, I mean, our, our system does not allow for what we would consider radical ideologies. Like you said, you know, it's left, right, conservative, liberal. You got to fit into this this spectrum that's been predefined for us. So when you come with an ideology that fits far right, far left, you become, you know, you become one of those people that we just kind of, like you said, nobody's listening to you. You just, you can make all the noise you want. Nobody's hearing the shit you're saying. I'm, no, I don't think anybody, well, with some issues, I, I can be radical. But these are measures I'm talking about, one that have been discussed, presented before, you know, and opposition to these things are like the boogeyman, right? So, and sometimes they create strange but, but, bedfellows. But that's, 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 that is still your perspective on well, it. Well, let's take a, uh, two proposals that have been bantied about last, you know, whatever. Universal basic income. Right. And universal health care. Right. I don't understand how people who are not extremely wealthy can reasonably say they're not supportive of this issue. Of, of Both are either. Okay, I, I, I have, and I, I so I'm a, I stole some material and I, that I'm going to use, but I think it kind of paints the picture. If your mama refrigerator still white, you don't have to worry about the taxes that's going to cover universal basic income or universal health care. Right, because it's not going to come from your resources. If you're looking for Groupon at some point during your next vacation, you don't have to worry about the taxes that's going to be levied to cover universal health care, universal So... Why are you worried about? Even if you have good health insurance, one which I don't think should be a thing. We talked about that. Right. Health care. I don't. Again, if you have good health care, you satisfied with what you get. Why do you have a problem with other people getting it? And what do you mean? How are we gonna pay for it? So, so there's. Like, what do you, what is, there, there are, I think the the answer to both of those questions are in perceptions, right? And it's it's it is in the presentation. So even if that person whose mama's refrigerator is still white, who they group on everything, everything, everything they group on, but who behind it? Their vote is still the same as the person who doesn't, right? And and unfortunately, because of how, like I say, how our systems are set up, like our people are really. Like they're herded into these these schools of thought that have absolutely nothing to do with their status in life, right? Like you like you saying, but at the same time, those people still have to vote. So their 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 check is needed in order for <coughs> these initiatives, these policies, these ordinances to go into effect. 
And even if they don't affect them, you know, I, I, some of our people, they just, they, they're, they're just like that, that sheep mentality, man. They just want to go along and get along. So, I mean, shit. Motherfuckers going to vote for shit that ain't got nothing to do with them. But, so, with another issue, <clears throat> maybe in the same bucket, but gun control has received yeah. maybe majority, some would call overwhelming support. Right. At some level among voters. I don't know how they tally this. I did, I got called once for a survey, but it was for the mayor's race here. Otherwise, I'd never been talked to. Never. Right? But they do the surveys, and they say most voters favor some gun control. Right. Or, you know, recreational marijuana. Right. right? Those things not getting done, I I get it. Okay. All right. That's politics involved. The right. wrong people going to lose out on money. Of course. Right? Where we, if we can't just slam, slam niggas, niggas for, weed, for no reason, all right. then that's money. We, we out. That's money. We, yeah. might, we, out, we literally yeah. out of business. I mean, shit. It's, right? It's, it's cheese involved. But why don't issues like universal basic income and universal health care have that same kind of traction <clears throat> among voters, at least. I know why it's not getting done. I mean, I think that the, 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 the like fiscal, the, the, the money, the money aspect, still at, well, at least with the universal health care piece. You know, I think the maybe to a degree we can have the discussion about the universal income. Yeah. But with universal health care, it's it's still why do insurance companies exist? Yeah. So so if so if we have universal health care, then there's really no need for insurance companies because you're going to get fucking taken care of to the utmost, whatever your need is. I get that. So I, if, so, I get it. So, so I'm saying, so, so the, the argument that would be against it would be the lobby that represents all of the cheese that the insurance industry is bringing in. They're not about to give up that cheese when they don't necessarily have to. I know the political... What, what I'm asking is, they don't seem to be as popular... <laughs> In the general public, it feels so, like some people just don't want other people. Like we rather see some people suffer. Oh, that's that's clear. Then for everybody to be straight, to be yes, Dave. Of, yeah, I, Dave I don't get that. Dave, though. This is America. I don't get that. I, I don't understand. I, how do you not get that? That 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 is as American as. Motherfuckers standing up and putting their hand over the chest and singing that stupid but ass that's song. That's the shit I don't I don't understand. That, that. that's that's American, bro. So so wh- why would somebody who is filthy rich have a problem with somebody who ain't got shit getting three hundred dollars a week? That's not why I'm asking. No, nah, but you but it's the same. Nothing. It's the same. You know, that's not, no problem. But, but it's the it's the same mindset. Put, it's the same mindset. You, you think that the people who are voting against universal health care, who all have golden parachute yeah. policies, by the way. Yeah. So, so wh- why would you not? Why, why do you think they don't? That's just hating. No, it, it's, I don't That's want your black hating. ass to be sitting in the doctor's office yeah. next to me. I don't want that. I don't want you yeah. coming in there with a beard, talking about you? baby, your role model, sitting next to me, and Mitch McConnell is my role model. These, no. What did these niggas call no. the hospital? They call it basically something a term I'd never heard before. But it was tantamount to the hospital of last resort. What in the holy fuck does that mean? You, it was a city talking about how they. It was talking about charity hospitals and shit? No, no, no. I don't, it wasn't about New Orleans. It was just generally speaking, during the pandemic, some the private hospitals. Right. Look, and some public hospitals of last resort, apparently, switched to become private hospitals, and they made, like, buku cheese. Cheese, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I get that hustle game, you know. But how, how is it just blatantly known that there are hospitals of last resort? How is that even a thing? 
So you got to first consider the source. What's the hospital for but, first resort? But, 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 what uh, am I going to the hospital for? One you can't go to? Yeah. That's what it is. That's blatant. Like, Last resort. Like that, no, but that's no, not but you what got, the story man, was you about. you got to consider the source. But that, Last resort to me <laughs> might be first and only resort to this person. Yeah. And that's America. But it's a hospital. I don't give a fuck. It's America. But you don't have every size needle. They might not have no needles. <laughs> That shit don't make no sense to me, dog. They might have no needles. They may not have the magnetic magnetic resonating. They them doctors at the hospital don't even know that that shit exists. But who, like, who thought that's a good idea? America, Dave. Like, what part of like we we go my my the chorus of this song the core the core of this though. song is not gonna change. This is America. And why ain't everybody pissed off about this? Because and, because some people who thought they was in the be there and get took care of crowd, now they in the slammed, waiting in line, drove because you've been calling this hotline for the last week and all you get is a ooh, doo, doo, so you drove. And you thought you were straight because you thought you you be there, you get took care of. But now you realize you're not. And you know what this Rona showed them? And there's a certain class of people, because, you know, the filthy people, they gonna, they got their cheese. They made out like bandits, right? And all of the people. And they're the people who blocking who everybody are, else. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you who drove, though. Um, and there's some kind of personal hurt here, too. I'm going to tell you who drove. Like the small business owners. Right. Um, who have really built an economy, who thrived. That's the backbone of this economy, bro. But it's it's the types of services and goods that are uh, that were provided. Okay. So when you had and it's the types of wages they were paying. Right? All right. So when I have a, a paraprofessional or a nurse or a nurse aides, bless their heart, they, they couldn't take advantage. But paraprofessionals, teacher assistants, right. you know, I, I work closely in that space. Um, restaurant, hospitality right. workers, they get five, six hundred a week. Nobody trying to rush back to no. They was like, oh, we got to get the economy back started. Economy for who? For yeah. what? Yeah. For what? Oh, people who want to work and <clears throat> get back to their jobs and all. Go work where? Applebee's. Dave and Buster's. You think people running to get back to them jobs? That's why that shit was there before the pandemic. Hosing yeah. down the shucking oysters and shit on Berber. Like, you think they rushing to get back to that when they making the same, if not more? That's correct. In universal vacant income. All of a sudden, we just found the money now. Mm-hmm. So I just want everybody to put that in the street. Everybody got the check. And everybody got the vaccine. They got to ask nothing about no network. Nothing. No coverage. Nothing. Or no copay yep. or deductible. Free or pre- 30. They say, show up, get the vaccine. Free 30. If you got an ID, a social security number, we're going to send you the check. Walmart, Wherever. urgent care. And the test, too. The parking lot. Uh, and the test, Zephyr too. Field. Man, nigga, you could show up at the airport and get a fucking vaccine before you get on the plane. I got straight at Great St. Stephen. Everybody sure. Everybody sure. Now all of a sudden, was no form to fill out. Wasn't no checking my insurance card. Roll your sleeve card. up. Roll your sleeve up. We got universal health care. All that. All that's, that's gone. We got universal health care. That's right gone. Here. Right here. We got it, though. Roll your sleeve up. We could do that. But nigga can't get a checkup. Can't get a checkup. But, Can't get counsel to but it, it's, for it's, weight loss or it smoking. Serves, or yeah. It serves an end that has nothing to do with the people who are used as the means. But how are people not paying attention to this, though? I don't know about my name, not people. So when you go out to vote, remember this shit. But we don't. That's not, that's, not, that's not how we roll. Because my thing some, is... Dave, something's going to happen between now and then with the light poles in the east. Oh, yeah. Which is gonna make our people completely forget about all of the other 
disparate effects that we got to deal with. So, like, like they'll throw the fucking bone, and we go on this way and completely forget about the main issue. I mean, shit, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that unfortunately has been the pattern that we as a community have repeated. And whenever we have radical voices who try to make sure that people are focused on the main issue, you get pushed back because people like, well, I, that means something to me. Like, nah, that shit is fucking, that's some ancillary, you know, periphery shit that's intended to make you lose focus on the main issue. And nobody, <clears throat> yeah, I, I need, man, if y'all vote, I'll run. I, if I, I, cause I don't know why nobody's never, we always start the conversation in this fucking country with, these are the parameters where the white man need to be all right. And then we can talk about structure we gonna and do? the kind of shit. For the what guy. we going to do once we get his approval. Yeah. And that, that was the building of shit, right? Now we're into these systems are established, right? They're institutions. Right. They're structures. Yeah, but see, that's right? that right there. See, but they, people don't look. So if, they, if people understood that these are institutions, these are not just fly by night happenstance yeah. occurrences, incidences, prevalence. This is an institution. Mm -hmm. This shit is built to be this way. Yeah. Continue. And then we say, okay, <clears throat> everything about this is not bad. Again, this is my country. I love this fucking country. I'm saying, one, just acknowledge that it wasn't. Only Built for you. Yeah, it wasn't only y'all. No, I'm just talking these these white men. Like, again, I'm not starting the conversation that no more. I'm not starting the conversation that no more. Oh, it's, it's going to disrupt shit. Too. It's disrupting shit for who? Everybody else waiting on a disruption. Oh, not yet. It's moving too fast. Too fast for fucking who? All our people who've had their disruption, they've had some type of atonement made by this country, everybody except us. I mean, yeah, go ahead. I'm just saying, I'm not starting a conversation anymore from a, a policy or political standpoint from what does the white man think of, uh, is, is he going to be straight when we do this change? I don't give a fuck no more. Like, it's, it's everything from grading stales in schools to... Like who get the contract when we uh, build a highway? I'm not talking to you no more about a 35 percent DBE requirement. I'm talking about a 35 percent max white man requirement. Mm -hmm. Like you wasn't saying shit about how unjust it was when white men was the only people getting contracts. Why the fuck you got something to say about the percentages now? Mm -hmm. So like, like, and then if so, and nobody's willing to call these motherfuckers out that's, on that. That's shit. what I was about to go. That's with. what I'm saying. That's what I was about to go. Nobody, with. you don't need their fucking money no more. You don't need to buy television ads. You got your own platform. That's in your it. Fucking pocket, right? If I could run my fucking mouth and somebody knew who, who my name was, this is all the publicity I need. If I was a public figure going off like this, some news network would have picked it up. Oh, you heard what? AOC said, Chuck but see, but see, said, but see my, so my, stop being my, a hoe. My, my problem with that is that in the, in the course of picking up your voice, your, <coughs> your voice is construed as a radical voice, not, not as a voice that is passionate about the affairs of people who look like you. You, you are, you are outside of the, 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 the binomial equation that is typically how politics are run in this country. I'm simply asking everybody, not a white man, when you hear shit like radical, aggressive, uh, anything like it, for who? It ain't radical. Man, that, it ain't radical. That those for words. Everybody who not a white man. Those words should make you lean more. in a little bit, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, for real. Radical who? Why is he so radical? Yeah. <laughs> what does he have to, to say? Who? What does he have to say? That that you know what? That's how I've been feeling for like, the longest. What is radical for? 
if a damn sure ain't radical for me. So that that proves the point that our opinion is not mainstream. And, and that, I and that also it is. that but I, it's just not what white men want here. And we are at a point now, and they know it. They do right. not. One, the country don't produce shit, but this kind true. of entertainment, That's as true. far as anything of value, yeah. is technology, nigga technology, and movies. And we about to lose That's that technology pretty, shit, too. That ain't about to happen. Tanks and either. shit, yeah. defense systems and all that. Yeah. But it ain't like we control the means of production. That's They control the supply chains, but again... The pandemic, Workers are uni- the, the pandemic kind of showed that shit ain't all the way absolute. So, so yeah. you know, the last thing they really have is the mic, and now they don't have the mic no more. It's more than four fucking television stations. Yeah. It's more than a basic cable package. More ways to reach the masses. Yeah. Yeah. And what's way more threatening to them, they run out of people that depend on those legacy media for... Their All of their influence. content. Yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to watch the same commercial as everybody else in the country. At they got more than seven four o'clock te- they got more than four television when I'm watching Martin. You won't get all black people watching that no more. Right. We think differently. So, and whatever you talking about, most of us really not trying to listen to anyway. We don't even hear your message. Right. Hmm. I don't know, bro. I mean, I, I I feel like there are just, there are more than enough of us who have that disposition, but there are, is a very scarce number of us who are willing to, irrespective of environment, to proclaim those truths, right? Like, because I've, I've seen people who, you know, they talk, black power to the fifth exponent when we in the room. Then when we go out into the street and, you know, somebody got a camera on them, you know, they want to talk about, you know, <coughs> diversity and, you know, like, let's be inclusive and let's bring everyone to the table. And, you know, I'm like, well, the table has never included us. So, you know, why, what's wrong with us having our own space, right? But nobody has the, the fearlessness and Minister Farrakhan said it best. Fearlessness looks like insanity to a coward, right? Mm-hmm. So for you or someone to have that type of disposition. That's real. That's real talk. That's, that, that is absolutely real talk. That's so, real talk. So for somebody to have that type of disposition, the people that you see that will come to you with the conversation to try to throw you off, you you got to understand what that is. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, those people vote too. Mm-hmm. And, th- and that's where the, 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 the reticence comes in for me because it's like, you know, I could talk blackness to you all day long, but when you go to your house and get in your bed, you know, you live, breathe whiteness. Yeah. So even though your skin the same color as mine, our our political interests are completely divergent. And, and I, I never take for granted I don't have kids, right? I don't either, so I, that's definitely so a conversation. when I'm talking to my brothers, friends, I'm just kind of observing them and... and you know, their wives about, you know, how they going about raising my nieces and nephews and other people, you know, really, I, I know people who are parents. You don't have the luxury that I do, I guess, to, to worry about everybody else. You have to operate in the system as it is now because as I told you know people I work in education, you gotta have that sense of urgency. You feel me? The the kid only get one shot at fourth grade, right? Or tenth grade or eleventh grade. Right. We trying to win a Super Bowl every, every year. year. Yeah, ain't no rebuilding. Yeah, we trying to win a Super Bowl every year. Yeah. This, this child one time. So you gotta bring that. It. You gotta bring that heat every, every year. day. Every day you gotta bring that heat. Yeah, right. I'm with that. So when you talk about your kid, you can't worry about what is about to be five years from now. Really, your kid got to go to middle school in August. Yeah. You feel me? That's the system to date. 
So then, what's your decision be? Like you go, you know, a friend of mine had a had her kids go to a selective admission school. Had, went to went to Lake Forest, right? All right. We'll call out the school. I'm not gonna call them, but they got back moved back. All you know, their kids went to Lake Forest. It's selective enrollment. They, I don't know what they say, they don't say it, but hey, it ain't on one app. Right. It ain't just anybody going there. Right? right. Just so happen to be who it happened to be that go to Lake Forest. Right. Right? So as as the last youngest child is finishing up over there, oh, now they got a problem with the school director. Oh, now. Nah. It should be, I really think it should be open to all parents. Oh, now, you know, let's be equitable. All right, okay. Now, let's do it. Right? They got the whole family through. Yeah. Yeah, we good now. You open the flag. Now we cut up. Yeah. Now we cut up now. Can't really look like behind. Yeah. Now we cut up now. It's a good school now. Had to be selective yeah. for my people was yeah. here, but then now we cut up, now. up. Now we cut up now. I see, yeah. Let's open it up. And, uh, uh, I give these niggas a chance. Uh, <laughs> so, that's real talk, too. You feel me? It's that's self-interest. Too. You, know, you know, hey. Um, and, you know, before, and I'm going to be honest, I had Republican leanings before this whole, you know, 45 debacle and, yeah. you know, before Barack. Yeah. Clearly. Because that just solidified every racist just migrating to one party. And that party doubling down on racism. But for a while, shit, for, for about all of the history, up until... 2008, the racist was equally split between Shit, yeah. both parties. Shit, parties, yeah. We cannot right? absolve the Democrats. Yeah, yeah. Shit, though. No. So, but at, looking at it from a policy standpoint, I was like, yeah, you know, some of the um, Republican supported policies I supported. Mm-hmm. Some of them are uh, Democratic policies I supported. You know, that changed with Barack. I right. Mean, Barack, we, we vote. Yeah. <laughs> There's no discussion, right? Okay. Right. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, stop even asking. Is there a discussion? You with the vote. Nigga, ask, like, how many people? To, did how did many you go people? With you? Who went with you? Yeah, who went with you? How many people you asked? They would vote? Like, you ain't. Hey, where about you? Guy. Hey, where about That's understood. That's understood. What? What? Oh shit, son! I'll never forget that uh, vote for Barack. It was a, it was going down. Five thirty in the morning, loose. I was going, what? Yo. Inauguration was crazy. So that's when it like clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. So <laughs> I said, like, chose a side. Yeah. <laughs> but man, it's just uh. So I, I I say that to say I don't. I don't judge people for their their motives in, you know, their decisions acting how it is. Now, I just don't see how voting for future change, like things may not happen overnight. How could you have a, like a, a problem with some of these things, right? Like to have universal health care taken off your plate. Right. As you raising kids, I don't understand. But but that an American, certainly not the majority of Americans, saying that that's a bad or not the best idea ever. But see, the pro- the problem is the majority of Americans don't make policy, right? The 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 people in Washington often, when they make policy, it. It is. It's only for the white rich white man. It's a it's a well difference. Right, man. Yeah. When I when I think about policy, I think about policy in two categories: policy that's made looking in the mirror, and, co- and policy that's made looking out the window, right? So 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 two completely different types of policies. 
And the policies that most often impact the lives of those people are policies that are made looking in the mirror. So it only benefits the people who are making them, those rich white people. Mm -hmm. So for them, like we say, like I said earlier, why why would they even want to to broach the conversation of universal health care, which could potentially put the welfare queen sitting in the waiting room at the spa medical center right next to fucking Mitch McConnell or somebody? What? That even. But they Why we even do know? broach the topic. And what I'm saying is they use these things to get their base of voters who can who I only can They can actually benefit like for the shit. Are people That's what I'm saying brains. to you, Dave. That's what I'm saying to you, Dave. That, it doesn't that, that we're not even we're not even gonna have the conversation of that shit. We not even had a conversation. There are people who are who are sitting in their homes with some type of terminal illness that could absolutely benefit yeah. from your probably a sitting on a stack of medical bills. Niggas getting it? Nah. That, not one single. Did you hear what I said? Not one single illegal better get a goddamn Man, they IV. Not, IV they could the IV. talk that shit. Not one. They don't give a fuck about Jesus. They just want to make sure that <laughs> Greg and Dave <laughs> is not sitting in the, the waiting room next to them. And God, God, God niggas money. money. <laughs> All right? God forbid, God forbid oh, that Lord. Mitch McConnell sitting in there with his old gobbly yes. neck for his appointment. Hold up. Hold up, son. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. He's sitting in there with his appointment, waiting with his gobbly neck, and you come walk in there dressed like that and go in the back before no. him. You think he's not going to shut that motherfucker down? I think, I think you're right. And I think, think what they hate about us the most is that they know we don't give a fuck about they, how they perceive yeah! that. They so this whole thing with oh the immigrants and all that, they we assimilate, right? Learn the language, we speak the they can't even talk about that. They know niggas ain't here for that foolishness. Assim- are you dumb? <laughs> what? Are you dumb? They know. A similac. We go come, we act like we belong. Which we've been we here. Go be Bitch, niggas. we been here. Yeah. Bitch, we been here before this y'all. Man, you ain't bitch, we been here. To, you didn't get accustomed to me. Bitch, we been here. What? The maps that Christopher Columbus used to get that's, lost to end up here. That guess what? He stole them from my grand great grandfather, great great uncle, grandfather, great grandfather. Uncle. That's what they can't stand. That's and we they and, can't and stand you it. and you know it, right? And you you are never going to have a posture Anything. that is subservient or even cowering from a white man's presence because it don't fucking mean These nothing to you. Nigga. It don't they mean nothing. They niggas who move into the subdivision. You got the wrong mailbox. Oh, you can't put a You took deck. your trash oh, out on the wrong bitch. Bitch. You left the trash can You parked up. your car. You had a bitch. car parked on the street in front of your house. Bitch, bitch. This, this is my house. <laughs> this is my house. Say that one more time. This. I had a car parked on the, the street where? Well, in, front of, in front of what? Bitch, why are you even looking over here? Why are you even looking over here? Next time, my landscape ain't interesting. Don't even look at my shit. Next time you look over here, make yeah. sure make sure you send the mortgage payment. Yeah, with you. all right. That's how we they, send the they mortgage payment with your eyes. Simulation shit to all these other people. They look. So, I the, the way I always and and we not about to have no little Italy. Or no Chinatown or Lil Side Gun. No, we ain't no. We all is us. Yeah, yeah. P-town. All is us. Yeah. As far as I can see. Yeah, all is us. We not about to go just be in one neighborhood, nigga. But you try to confine all the you confine all the niggas to the east, and they nah. still they still tear Lakeshore. We out here. <laughs> they still tear me and city up. This is ours. Yeah. That, but just but that, as much as that, anybody else is that ours. type that type of energy. And going going back to the 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 political connectedness, that type of energy, unfortunately, I don't see it existing in the cohort that's the age cohort that's above us, right? The the in office now cohort, yeah. right? And I feel like <clears throat> the the borderline, if not right on the line, tap dancing is that's that's the way that they came into politics. They. Now, very rarely, you know, you got the one-offs like the the Bobbers, you know, who don't give a fuck and will yeah. tell you he don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Will scratch that gray hair. They, but they don't they don't exist like that. So they don't let, exist like so that. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. 
is not necessarily from a generation, right? It's just in that generation, that, they that represented mindset. a subset of that generation All right. who was like the corporate America move up the ladder or whatever. Because they got the old niggas in the office, same age, a little younger than my grandpa. There ain't no, he niggas. Like full flag. So right. we are and like we wasn't pole and like we've been middle class since Yeah. Understood. Since the NO. Yeah, should we right? grew up. We grew we up. Don't, he ain't never cared about what no white man thought. Yeah. So they had that. Right. Still had that. They was just kinda like us. All right. We oh go get the good degree. Go to this school, you know, that's kinda move up that ladder. We was kinda navigate it it was a recent revelation for me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care no more. Wow. I I don't care. Yeah, I see. I'm 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 a little different though. I don't care. Like, you know, I went to, you know, white school growing, but I, yeah. you know, just talking to people. You probably went to, it was St. Joan of Arc. Uh huh. That's black. Yeah. You know the all Howard. But that ain't. Got, but you know around. what? That ain't got nothing to do with it. What I'm saying is, you existed in your like your life. That didn't even like. What white people had to say. Like, like, yeah, That's like, not the standard of yeah. professionalism nothing. or decorum nope. or expectation or not. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with it. Nope. Ever. Never did. So, I mean, that's never been an experience in your life. My, having that be the standard. My change was real to rap. I remember being a little boy and hearing the story of my grandfather when he was in the military. Um like a white sergeant or something, like he, he, my grandfather was cleaning his shoes or something, the man like put his feet on my grandfather and like, you know, kind of like kicked him. My grandfather racked the shotgun on mm -hmm. him and was like, your fucking feet belong on the ground. Yeah. Like don't, Dude, and like, to? But, but I'm like, that's, that's way back in the G, right? <clears throat> so if my grandfather was like, if that's how he lived his life, then like why the fuck do I have to be afraid of what these motherfuckers think. And then my parents made the fatal mistake of sending me to a camp called Vital when I was a child, mm -hmm. right? Um, and while I was at Vital, if I ain't learned nothing else, what I learned was I'm a black boy and I'm on my way to being a black man and ain't nothing this world could do to stop the power and of the black, the, pla yeah. the black man and the black woman. Mm -hmm. So I, I grew up. And then I grew up around the, the, the Mama Tayaris. I grew up around the Mama Nalimas, right? I grew up around the Mama Carols. I grew up around the Mama Anawas. So, like, seeing my black people was like, this is, what, this is what life is. So the opinions of white people really, to me, like, that shit was like, man, I don't, I, I don't I, that, that shit doesn't even, it don't even tickle my radar, bro. Mm. It don't tickle my radar not one bit. Because yeah. the, the shit in my life, that has been of consequence is of consequence because of black men and black women. Yeah. Not because of white people. So the no, really, the, no, no, Saint Og yeah. is probably the only thing that is of any consequence that had white it people to do with the, the founding yeah. of it, right? Yeah. Right? That's probably well how to. How to yeah, how to. But ain't nobody gonna accuse how to be in no white school. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. White school. That, 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 yeah. Let's be clear about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I was I was fortunate in my 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 formation. And then as I like really got to the point where I was shaping my own identity, I was still getting a black influence, even to this day. So I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing for me to be in a position where I don't have to feel uncomfortable about how white people perceive me or the things that I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it, it changes my behavior. Like, I don't, I, don't, I, don't have that, I don't have that problem. I knew I won't buy into it wholesale, so I, w I was a bit different. I wasn't exposed to these you know, radical, certainly not radical politics. I we didn't really talk about politics beyond, you know, one parent was a Democrat, one parent was a Republican, right? That's, right. that's it. Um all of that, I mean that's just now I grew up in the East. Um like I said, my grandma uh you know, one of my grandmothers lived with us, but you know, my mom's side, her side, we don't really know like Beyond a lot of their family, you be from Bashery, right? Um, and they country like they shit. Uh, they own the land, 
and that's what they do. Yeah. Drive trucks, the land, yeah. pack it as well. Yeah. Um, Get it out the mud. Yeah. Hey, work out there. And my dad's side of the family, my, my daddy, he's still alive. He full flame, man. Rusty pistol. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Don't play with me. Yeah. <laughs> Nine, five years old. This nigga's retarded, son. Always been, though. And my grandmother, bless her heart, she was just a, a kind, sweet woman. Nobody was really radical, right? Yeah. Um, I went to Heinz for ele- half elementary school, then McMain, and then Howard. So I always was trying to kind of navigate that space between just being black All right. and having those white credentials of validation to kind of get the job or the career or right. the lifestyle I wanted to live. Right, right. And I've done that. Right. Right? But now... I, I don't, I don't care. Right. For a number of reasons. One, life is too short to kind of, you know, continuing on that route. Absolutely. Um. Two. Is always this too radical shit. Um. One, I felt like my presence was radical, which was crazy, as a black male in education. All y'all teaching. Sixty percent, fifty percent at least, black yeah. males. Yeah. And I'm the lone face in here. Right. Who even from the N.O. Right. Like even more so. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm radical. Right. So, and then three. I'm now at a at an age in my peers, colleagues are now at an age and have certain positions of power where I can rely on my people now. Mm-hmm. I can do right by my people instead of having to look. Outside of my community and network, right, for you know to earn a living, right, um, and certainly not for professional, you know, validation, right, right. So I don't give a fuck no more, right. Um, it's. I mean, I, I I agree with you to to an extent because I I think I I probably followed the same model as it relates to education, yeah. Um, because I feel like. You know, once I went to Howard, I felt like I had the best that black education had to offer. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when it came time to make considerations for graduate school, especially once I came back home, I was like, really, what is the best that PWI has to offer? Mm-hmm. Because I felt like, you know, going forward, regardless of whatever room I sit in, if you are a, a proponent and a champion of black education, you're going to know Howard mm-hmm. and you're going to respect Howard. Mm-hmm. Other side of the fence, if you are a proponent of PWIs and well-known institutions, you're going to know and respect Tulane, and I got the master's from Tulane, mm-hmm. right? Um, so I kind of use that that philosophy of black versus white education, but I really was thinking about it from the perspective of being able to enter rooms that a lot of people who don't look like me or who may not have gotten the achievements or the accolades mm-hmm that they may have some concerns, maybe they wouldn't be allowed into a room that I would. So maybe my Tulane degree may allow this body to give me an opportunity to have an audience with them when they wouldn't have gave, you know, and you know what? Somebody who looked like baby or yeah. some shit. And I was So that's why say, I was it, was it was that shit was important to me. Until you raised that last point, I was gonna say I was guilty, probably certainly was part of the line of thinking was that the white man ice cold. Oh, of course. Right? I'm coming home to law school, three law schools, four law schools in Louisiana. Um, I felt at the time I wiped my ass with an LSU law degree. Like, that shit just ain't for me. Right. It ain't where I'm trying oil and gas and whiteness yeah. and caucasity. That and that's not that. I that's not that. And living in Baton Rouge to do it. That's, that's, that's a I, double. That's I a double L. Mean that's, that's a double L. Right. And I felt like I'm better than that. Right. That's good. They not number one. There's, I'm not settling stats. Yeah. Right? yeah. But a part of me, um, you know, Tulane was, you know, it's Tulane. White man ranking. It's Tulane. Tulane. Like, whatever. So I go to Tulane. Um, but I probably <clears> should have wound up. At Loyola or Southern, uh, would have been a hike for Southern. Didn't really want to live in Baton Rouge, but should have considered Loyola. But there I go then, 
thinking that I need this white validation. Mm-hmm. And to the point you raised, shit, I did. Right? Because mm-hmm. they p- part of what my own people told me at Howard. Because I got accepted to Howard for law. Mm-hmm. Oh, Duran, you don't get the, the third degree from Howard. Yeah. They're going to look like you can only hang with black people. What the fuck is wrong with only hang with black people? But I listen to that shit, right? You know, I, I tell myself, yeah, I wanted to come home, you know, yeah. which I did. It was right after the storm. So I, I did want to come home. Right. District was getting, you know, a little too expensive mm-hmm. to be out there. You know, it was kind of the, the same kind of financial prospect going either way. At least be home with it. But I, it turned out I really did need that validation. I wouldn't have got one. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't be married. My wife there. That's one thing. Let's start there. Right? Yeah, let's start there. Um, who for damn sure wasn't going to know. Yeah, she's yeah, nothing. Yeah. After but, Princeton, yeah. It's yeah, like, but it's, they're they're not about to do that. Don't even talk to me. Caribbean black. They ain't got time to yeah, be. Yeah, hear all that bullshit. Hey, they, yeah. What? I need everything up there. Yeah. They the top of everything. Yeah. So I wouldn't even been in that circle. Right. To even meet up. So that's one. And talk about getting let in the room, certain rooms. I can count definitely the job. I, people done told me they wouldn't have talked to me unless I had the. The two lane law. The two lane law. When I talk to people on the street, you know, not on the street, be this little mixer for the, we, you know, yeah. we, and it was, we, did, we, we run in the same kind of uh-huh. group. Um, oh, well, you went to law school. You know, too late. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Too late. Hey, they want to talk then. Yeah. 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 Why that matter? Why that matter? Because there's that, that, that the prestige of you being able to accomplish. Yeah. And achieve the white man's the white standards. man, yeah. Now I could I could speak the fuck out that white man language. Now you just not about to just tell me anything. I earned the degree. Yeah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> not at all. Even though my shit burned in the fire, yeah. I absolutely earned a piece of paperwork from Tulane. Let's be, be straight. Let's, let, 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 don't be dumb. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't, don't be I, dumb. I, I know how to show up in the building. All right. I'm not about to just jump my like, shoes off. What? We got fur make on the yeah. floor in here. God I damn. know. Don't ever, oh, don't shit. ever trip. You so got to keep it on deck. I've though. just chosen yeah. not to, you know, do, yeah. I've chosen to do certain things in my career. Then, Instead of being a baby. Yeah. yeah. But I could definitely, you know, whatever. Um, but, but yeah, man, just, they do address the issues they weaponize them against certainly people of color they turn right. us black people they turn us into the boogeyman like you said right. the, the welfare queen right all that shit the nigga right. who got out of jail and he didn't murder right. the white woman right. raped the, all that huge nigga raping white women right. and, you know? and all that yep. all that kind of bullshit yep. right um but it it just man i just out of the same breath, and they, they do it when they talking about the estate tax. Oh well, what taxes you gonna raise to pay for this? The estate tax. Oh, you mean the death tax, bitch? This nigga dead. Why does it matter to him? This this his this tax children is estate. ain't do shit. shit for that cheese. Yeah, <laughs> they they We not be- trying to break them. Like, bitch, you can't be filthy instead of just, like, you can't be filthy. Extra filthy, you just got to have just. But, see. You just got to hate. But but look, though, like, the the understanding of exactly how filthy you got to be. But, Greg, I don't care. What is crazy to me is that you living in Hoover, Alabama, and you cut the football field for a living, but you drove. Oh, you need the fucking libs you want. They they raising a state tax, bitch. Dave, you 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 do with that. You do understand that, right? All of those conversations 
have some kind of way, yeah, they, some kind of way they have heard two through that this money is going to be taken from your money and is going to be put in the pocket okay. of Dave and Greg. Of niggas. Dave and Greg, all right? You, <laughs> white man in Hoover, Alabama, your grass-cutting money is going to be, t- even though it ain't his grass-cutting money, <laughs> your, your grass-cutting money is going to be taken out of your retirement check to give it to Greg and Dave. Yeah, listen to this motherfucker, New Norman. And I tell I tell people they be like, oh, Dave, listen to all sure. that shit. I listen to the uh, American Family. I'm gonna give them the shout. American Family Media Network or whatever. They got the radio show. You know, Abe, he graduated with you. Hamilton, Abraham, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he the dog. Yeah, he got he got the uh, the Rush Hour. All right, um, show. So I listen to him. Um, listen to WWL. All right. I've been listening to him since, since Buddy D. Yeah. Um, but I'm listening to this nigga that was talking about old Maxine Waters. She won't put in the infrastructure bill $10 billion for her to go to $20,000 to $25,000 down payments for first-time home buyers. All right. Here he come. Oh, it's going to be disastrous. We putting people in houses they can't afford. Uh, it's the program is going to fail. It's all, all this and that, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't got no words about this so-called greatest generation he always mouth talking about that his parents, a member of, made their money off the... New Deal and all that shit. Mm-hmm. The original infrastructure saved our ass bill. Mm-hmm. Ain't got shit to say. The multiple reconstruction that about we had the fucking in this GI Bill. Multiple reconstructions we had in this country. He was like, yeah. We seen that, you know, when we try to select the people that get it, you know, that was wrong, but you don't right the wrong by doing the same not- thing. This nigga said doing the same thing. You don't write the wrong. Then how you do it? I'm like, motherfucker. Then how do you do it? What you mean doing the same thing? We finishing the shit we should have done. When they gave your fucking Paul the money to go run the fucking Kenna or Meta or wherever the fuck you from. So once again. His mama, I don't really talk about no mama, but her status is a naturalized citizen. She is an immigrant. She came in the right way. What's the right way? All I know is they do not want to have Greg and Dave buy houses on either side of them. What? And to be able to say that the government gave us 20 grand down payment payment for the crib. So that's 20 grand. We are not in debt for and we got a crib that we could pass on to our kids with at least 20 grand yeah. of equity off the dump. Do you think he want to be able to, like, and, and, and the generational wealth that that would establish in both of our families, which eventually will become our community, which would mean that we would have much more financial and, and, and much more of, of a, 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 a powerful voice Politically, economically, what? Why would he even want to see that happen when they don't even want us to have books for our kids that start on page one? I right? again, I'm inviting books anybody start on page one to come out here and explain to me how doing for other people what was done for white men in this country. Is problematic. If anybody for wants anyone to do, outside of white males, I, period. Outside of white even, males, I can even find some positives for them. Yeah. If anybody want to come on here and try to tell me, but they that they, it, they are what is the problem to they, do for white? I mean, to do for everybody else what has been done for white men in this country. They perpetuate this system. I. I won't hear that. I they, want him come out their mouth with that shit. They perpetuate this system. So, you know, 
the 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 standards, the what's uncomfortable, the what's unacceptable, uncomfortable. the what's what's problematic. Uh, all of that is based from from the perspective that they have on the people who would benefit from whatever the initiative or whatever the action is. And you are seeing this unfold in real time. Now, again, with the with the Me Too movement primarily, we could this this thing can make you famous. We don't have, we don't have to call HR or nothing, some other white man to read on some white man doing rapey shit. We don't have to do that no more. Yeah, slam your ass up front. Period. I don't know. If you do some racist shit, you get slammed in your place of business. You get slammed. That shit going to be on video. Or if you did it in the past, I'm going to bring it up and you get slammed. Period. And you get slammed. You get slammed. Oh, I, I hate the, the, the cancel culture. Me. Well, don't do problematic shit. Locker room talk. So my, 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 my problem with that kind of stuff is how that shit is portrayed. You know, like the, the way that narrative is pitched you know, we talk about media, you know, and how they use narrative to make that grass cutter in Hoover, Alabama, think that the estate tax is going to affect his his grass cutting budget, right? I have no idea how that resonates with them. I, that's that's what that's what get the, that, um, that's the stupidity. The of capital these gains people, tax, they, like they get oh the capital gains tax. What in the fuck do you care about the capital? You have no capital. You don't have nothing. (laughs) You have no capital. (laughs) What are you talking about? But Dave, if it sounds like that money that could be taken from the 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 white man's good air could possibly be used to put some Football uniforms on some black kids at Comiskey Playground. Sh- it's not oh, happening. I'm, gl- I'm glad you brought that shit up. It's not happening. I'm glad you brought that shit we're up. Not putting, we're not taking money from our billion-dollar longevity escrow account That's to give some kids in New Orleans uniforms for basketball and football. That's what the fuck thing. is wrong with you? That's another thing no. I'm, I'm also pissed off about. So this, um, and I work for these organizations, and I'm saying this, because I fundamentally disagree that many of these organizations should exist. A lot of the organizations... When you say organizations, organizations like... The, the, the nonprofit All education right. organizations that I work for. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. And who depend on, you know, in large part... The education ph- pimps. Philanthropy. The education pimps. But they depend on philanthropy. Right. And they all claim a tax exempt status, right? So do that's pimping, son. So do churches, museums, orchestras, all pimping. And my thing is, who made that shit a good idea to give you a tax deduction for so called charity? It ain't charity. That's my tax money, our collective tax money, that some rich motherfucker decides should go to some bullshit theater or the orchestra. I don't, it doesn't matter what the cause is. I'm going to say, I, I want to be abundantly clear. It doesn't matter what the cause is for two reasons. One, it ain't your money. If it's taxable, okay. it's for... Government operations. Right. One. Right. Two, it shouldn't matter what the organization is because even the best philanthropic dollars, most of the time the best philanthropic, go to some shit that should be funded at a high level anyway. Agreed. Shouldn't have no fucking capital fund for a fucking high school. Agreed. Or a hospital. Agreed. But if that, that, yeah, that but if, that but if that school, stupid. but if that school is privatized, if if I'm, I'm well, I'm sorry, decentralized. Private, you could go private. Okay, and that's. But why did it even get to that? Because there's cheese involved, Dave. Why did it? No, it did not start out as oh, there's cheese involved. 
that was never what the um, charter school movement. That's I mean, niggas gonna make their money, but they don't. You think the reason charter schools exist? Is for people to make money? No, 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 no. All right, the, the, it was it was absolutely the autonomy inside of, of of delivering educational content. However, that shit is no longer the that's not the the modus operandi anymore. It's about making this cheese, Dave. Because if it were if it were anything other, we would have some type of tangible product to compare against the bloated salaries if, that people are taking. If that were the case. Then you would see charter schools operating in all districts in the country. That's not the case. Here, it's about cheese. I, so it's about cheese. Yeah. I, I will disagree or park that issue now. I'm saying the issue is the schools are fucking shitty because they've been underfunded. Outright off the gate. So I will argue. I will argue that the schools have not. Well, the schools have been poorly funded, but the funds that have been gone have, that have gone to the schools have been piss poorly Man. managed and expended. So, so you got so you got the double whammy because you got the we gonna underfund, but on top of underfunding, we are gonna spend most of the money on salaries for upper management. But the schools are shitty. So why the fuck do y'all draw these exorbitant salaries? If we had all our kids competitive for whatever the next level is for them, whether you decide it's college or career, whether you choose college or career and you are competitive for that level, if everybody was even, not even everybody, if we could say 75% of our kids was competent and whatever the next level was, they're ready to hit the ground running. We can't say that. What I'm saying is... There's no secret sauce or formula to operate an excellent school. Okay. There's, that that it just doesn't exist. Right. There. There are examples all across the country of higher performance. Now we could debate all you know about the actual like national standards and are they right. ready competing on a global level, level right. whatever. But there are good school systems around the country. Agree. And we know what that come down to. Right? Where they the at? families are in poverty and the schools are then asked to pick up a lot of the issues or address a lot of the issues that still in poverty and they don't have the funds to do it. Right? right. Because in part, I believe, we letting people decide where they just want to write a check of tax money to some shit that probably, in some cases, don't need tax. Nobody should get a tax deduction for writing a check to Holy Cross or Newman. Right. Nobody should get a tax deduction for writing a check to the Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra. Totally agree. Period. Totally agree. Period. Totally agree. Nobody should get a tax deduction for writing a check to Greater St. Stephen or Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. Totally agree. So I don't, that's a, another thing. Like, we just accept certain shit right. as is. Oh, it's a, it's a structure, well, right? I, I, oh, let's get rid of that. So so that structure. You don't even. That wasn't built for us to benefit people, from. But what I'm saying is. We morphed into that shit. But what I'm saying is, people go hoop and holler about all that shit. You don't even make enough money to get past the standard deduction. Why the fuck do you care if the rich person can't get a tax deduction for writing a check here? Uh, if it was really charity, Franklin Avenue Baptist Church, which they're not. people would pay their tithe. Render unto Caesar with a Caesar, give to the, the church with a ticket. Caesar, and then you pay your tithes. Yeah. They, I, if they Christian, they're going to do that. That was my understanding of how charity worked. Um, I understand it. <laughs> yeah, it's, you can't. It's, it's side you can't split the bill. <laughs> it's side church. Yeah, <laughs> you can't get double credit for your tithing and your tax. That's uh, well, ain't that in the Bible? I mean, I, I I still say you know a lot of these. I I I will I will piggyback off your comment. I do agree that people just accept a lot of systems, right? I do ag agree, but 
for most people, going back to your disposition of having what is considered to be radical, most people consider it much easier to go along than it is than to stand up and present some type of objection, right? And <coughs> the, 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 whether it's the fear of you know, losing a job or being stigmatized or, you know, not being accepted. Like a lot of people just have like self-imposed limitations on why they decided they don't want to do shit. I, I, I don't so know. So you said two things and I'm going to address both of those. So one, like I don't think it's people find it easy to get along. Only people find it easy. Right. To get along. You're they right. got people out here who hustle game it, right? One of the principles that you learn in a business Business don't give a shit either way, left, right, you know, lib, dim. They just want consistency. Right. Predictability, more, you know, more so. Right. Right? They just want... Which is what a lot and of gonna stock adapt. markets and all that shit is built on. Really. Hustle game gonna hustle. Yeah. Right? So you got people who give no fucks about it either way. They just hustle. Until it affect their dollar. And, uh, but they, them, that's the niggas that still gonna find a way. Yeah. Right? Ain't, ain't no economic downturn for liquor. Right. Ain't no economic downturn, as we've seen, for, those. for most of the Fortune 500 companies. Right? Right. They got game up. So hustle game gonna hustle. They got game up. Right? Um, and then, what was the other thing you said? What was the second thing you said? Hustle game gonna hustle. This is why we shouldn't do this on air. Yeah. I, I, I mean, we, we, we are conditioned to, once we have experienced shit for so often, mm-hmm. to just think that that's just the way it's supposed to go, right? And the energy that is asked of someone to swim upstream when literally damn near the whole country is swimming this way, and you got one or two fish who decide to swim a stream, like that is a, that, that's a revolutionary disposition. And a lot of people, you know, I, I think, especially in the, in the black community, find it a lot easier to just, you know, they, they might stick their head up and make a little noise every mm-hmm. now and then, but they still going to get back in the stream and go the way everybody else is going. Mm-hmm. So, you know, platforms like this where we, we voice a, what, what could be considered a divergent opinion, like, this is how I think you have to begin to, like, rise people's consciousness, right, and make people understand that you, the only way, the only way some shit is going to change is if you start to say, I want some shit to change. If you yeah. just keep going with the flow, ain't nothing going to fucking happen. So, you know, that's, that's, that's unfortunately where we are socially, politically, economically, morally, and just about any other metric you have in the black community. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so what think, else we got? I think we go. We might wrap with that. Um, again, just a little meta review. You know, we definitely gonna close with not a white man this election, and I must specifically address well, what if it's no white man? What if it's all black people? Okay. And I chose one, violate my own rules. So that's why I learned you gotta go with a black woman. I'm gonna speak on that. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, I'm always cool with that. Yeah. Let's see, baby. Shit. And then, I don't know if we get baby, but we, Son. <laughs> when we come back to this economic uh, policy, personal, you know, microeconomics, macro, um, I do want to bring someone on to discuss and, and talk about what people who are on baby level, what they actually do with their money, Right. It ain't all burgundy jets. Yeah. It ain't all burgundy jets. Um, so, yeah, get that guess on. So, right. in closing, the DA race. I gave Jason Williams his props last episode yeah. for the joint motion on what was clearly a stand your ground situation. Right. This motherfucker said he don't, he never going to charge juveniles as adults. Right? And he just charged them too. And he said it was right and just. And he did all that shit. He said it was right and just. And though, everything son. before that. He said it was right and just. He said he did all that with the press conference before that because he knew he was going to have to announce them indictments. So he was trying to get the goodwill. 
But that's bullshit, though. I, at least Kiva was honest during the race. Everything. Kiva was honest during the race. You know, look. And I feel a certain way. I mean, I agree. Jason said, but don't, the, he said the egregiousness of the crime. Yeah, but that's that bull. I mean, dic- dictated the response. I mean, you know, that's what that's what the brother said. No, I mean, well, don't say going into the election that you not, is, is I'm heavily against it. But the but you know, facts yeah. is facts, right? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I agree with them. Niggas probably and, should get some. And, that, and therein goes back to the conversation about politics, too. Yeah. You know, so. because at some point, you know, there's a conversation that goes beyond our community that he has to face, that he got to face. So, yep. you know, like he, we, we're not him, you know. I'm going to give him his chance. We, we would have a different approach yeah. to the situation. You know, I'm gonna give him his chance. Bitter but, buyer's remorse, but I'm gonna give him his chance. I say that to say, the rules should have dictated, in the in the white not a white man election approach. The mm-hmm. rules should have dictated me voting for Keith. Mm-hmm. The rules should have dictated I went with the black woman. Mm-hmm. So, um, so Jason, Jason, you know, when I was working in the mayor's office, um, you know, a couple of brothers that we had that we were trying to kind of round a couple of edges for him. Like he helped out, pitched in, mm. no no question, didn't hesitate, didn't delay, you know, wasn't no meet me here. I'm, oh, I'm five minutes late. I'm coming. Like he was always on point. Mm. So, you know, I, I I used that as my background, you know, my personal investigation on him mm-hmm. to feel like, okay, you know what? If 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 he's coming to this with a genuine disposition about improving the lives of youth, make sure they be responsible for what they got to be responsible for. But really, trying to improve the lives of youth in a in a a, 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 a systematic, transformative way, I'm I'm with it. That's I'm episode. with it. That's perfect. That's next episode because when he found out, what you facing, partner? A whole nation of niggas that's out, mind damage, paper chasing. All right. Yes, sir, sir. Another one. For in the sure. booklet, daddy. Woo, telling us to get the hell out of here. Appreciate it, For brother. Sure. Yeah.